you guys. Another vlog. And back again now in Sierra Nevada. Then we'll do something exciting on the bike. I will be heading down to Canada, meet up with the body from the team, and I will for the first time try out the aero system on the road bike. I think it is actually the first road bike in the world with that technology on it. So that's gonna be really exciting to try out anyway. Day one of training. Yeah, it's a bit more snow than it was last time around. A little bit more windy, and the forecast is not as good as in. I found someone. Who's there? It's raining here in Sierra. So now I'm driving down to Granada. It's like a 40 minutes, 50 minutes drive down to the Airbnb where Body Rocket is. They have my second bike uh, set up with the system. I'm bringing down my current bike. So just to make sure that uh, the position will be the same. And uh, then hopefully it's not gonna rain because I think this system doesn't deal with rain currently as it's a uh, early phase of the developing the sensors or it's like prototype stuff. So hopefully the weather will calm down a little bit. But anyway, I'm heading down now to Canada to meet the guys. Okay. Here we have it. The new system. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit what's on? Of course. <laughs> yeah, follow me out here. Yep. The last little bit of sunshine we get for the week. So um, we have the same saddle sensor that you've had on your um, Kdex. Um, and then we've taken that and integrated it into a stem so that you can um, ride your, your road bike. Um, and we've set this up for very rapid changes, so uh, no bar tape, and we've kept the, the cables out so we can just rock through changing different bars and changing stem lengths. Um, and then this is our uh, generation and a half uh, aero sensor, so slightly nicer looking than, than our first prototype that you were on. Um, but uh, you'll get, there'll be a smaller one coming soon. The brain that sits here has been a little bit cleaned up as, as well. Um, that is still a temporary thing, goes away eventually, but. Uh, looks nicer than the last one, and then pedals are the, not the same as, as you've had previously. Those are about to get an upgrade as, as well. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the new system for you. Epic. Can't wait to test it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christian, you're just asking Brian, our new AI. Okay. What should you test today? So, let's see. Let's see what it's answering. It. Oh. There, there's calculating. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't calculate. And then it says here, focus on testing your hood's position with your forearms parallel to the ground, and then the drops. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And uh, can you say how do I? What sort of protocol? Oh, uh, let's see if we can. Oh. <laughs> let's see. Okay, what? Uh, well, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, what protocol should I try? <sighs> so now it's, you know it's going off away. Brian's thinking. Well, fingers crossed. Oh, Hi. there you go. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> so this is what we can do afterwards. So you do your warm. So he's saying here, do a warm up at a moderate pace. And then you start off in the hood's position with your forearms parallel to the ground. And then do a five minute sustained effort, you say, to get enough data. 
using your body rocket system. And then uh, just do some easy pedaling to differentiate different efforts. So a low power, low power effort, higher power effort, and then switch some drops position again, and then cool down 10 minutes for an easy pace. So integrates with your training and with your testing. Oh, and here I have, I have tipped Brian off a little bit about what you're training for okay. as well. Okay, even knows that we are targeting. <laughs> There you go. The Paris Olympics. And uh, let's, see, let's just ask him as well. Uh, tell me about the course. So let's see. I, I don't know. Let's see. So you've added in the Paris course into the system. There you go. Yeah. So seven laps, is that? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So a few tight corners in open straights where aerodynamics will play a crucial role. This is pretty cool. <laughs> so then it will automatically if i do this on the turbo it will then later on remember my position based on the uh, the force distribution Amazing. <laughs> Time now, so you, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about this. That, so, so that's uh, should be fine. Cool. Enjoyed testing today. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, it's nice to play around with like like the different positions and also see the results that quickly. Excellent. Like, uh, yeah, it's like a wow feeling to feel how <laughs> like the stem especially is doing the difference. If you want to see the comparison there, this is your drops when you're kind of a little bit more relaxed. This is you bringing it in a bit more and your torso angle really comes down. Lower or is it based on this data that I'm getting lower? Oh, so here, Brian is actually, he's got that foundational knowledge. Mm. So he's like, well, if you have a longer stem, you are going to be longer. Okay. So you don't need the photo. Okay. Yeah. But Brian can then take those images and uh, look at your torso angle, things like that mm. too. So um, if we go down here, I've asked Brian, well, what should I test next? And Brian here is saying, focus on refining your position. That makes sense. You know, you've got a little bit more time to refine that position. I don't want to leave the car. But anyway, it's a wrap. Day one. Yeah, pretty cool. And it's quite impressive to see how far the guys in Boy Rocket have been taking the system since I tried it out for the first time like two years ago. But then it was on a TT bike. This time around, they managed to put it into the stem. So, uh, pretty cool to be able to do aero testing like that. Yeah, some cool findings. It's obviously motivating when they are. For every round I'm doing, like back and forth, they can uh, tell me how much I saved compared to the first round in the Paris course. So they are giving me those like seconds, like 51 seconds saved in Paris course. So hopefully that's going to translate into 51 seconds saved in Paris in July. But anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Take care.